I'm Chef Derek St. Romain, and my career is built around food. I'm an executive chef, a hunter, and an avid fan of all things food. I started out in some of the most famous restaurants in New Orleans before Katrina blew me up to North Carolina. Now I'm the head chef at the Duke Diet and Fitness Center and the regional coordinator for Backyard Bow Pro, an organization uniting farmers and hunters in the fight against hunger. Whether I'm running a professional kitchen or manning the grill at home, cooking's my passion. And today, I'm gonna cook with you. So let's get going. Today we're starting out at Ingles, getting the ingredients to make my black and blue stuffed burgers. Here's what we need. One pound of 93% ground beef, one Vidalia onion, finely chopped, two cloves of garlic minced, three tablespoons of chopped parsley, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon white pepper, one teaspoon black pepper, blue cheese, two tablespoons of blackened seasoning, and a quarter cup of Japanese breadcrumbs. Remember, all this is on the website at ingles-markets.com, so you can print a list and take it with you, or pull it up on your smartphone when you're at the store. Now let's get cooking. Welcome to Asheville, North Carolina. We're at the Crest Center at the headquarters for Backyard Bow Pro. And I'm about to show you how to make a black and blue stuffed hamburger. If you've been paying attention to any of the food channels, you're gonna see hamburgers stuffed all over the place. So let's get started. I got some 93% lean Harvest Farms beef from Ingalls. Uh, they got a wide selection of, of freshly ground beef sitting right there. It's already measured out to one pound, which is what we need for our recipe. So you can go to Ingalls and just follow along just like we're gonna do right here. I got my diced Vidalia onions. We're gonna add to it. I got a quarter cup Japanese breadcrumbs. I got a little salt and pepper. And I got some fresh chopped garlic. Again, all that can be had right at your local Ingalls. We're gonna mix all this together. Now when you're mixing your ground beef, you don't wanna handle it too much. We're not making meatloaf, we're making hamburgers. So you just wanna mix this together, get it nice and incorporated. Then we're gonna separate it into eight little piles and make our stuffed burgers. All right. All right, so that's nice and mixed up, nice and incorporated, and you can see it's all mixed together. Everything's separated pretty equally. Now we're gonna separate that out and make our stuffing out of the blue cheese and balsamic glaze. Now we have all our beef sectioned out. We made eight two ounce portions. Each two is gonna make one burger. So now we're gonna make our stuffing. Now if you don't like blue cheese, you can choose any cheese you like. You can use a Havarte, a goat cheese would be great. Anything you like to stuff in the burger is just fine. So while you're at Ingalls looking at your cheeses, if you don't want to go through this step, they have a, quite a large variety of cheeses that are already mixed up. You'll see Havarti with dill, Havarti with pecans and cranberry, uh, a lots, of, lots of creamy cheeses with different kinds of fruit. You'll see it with blueberries, blackberries, all different kinds of mixed cheeses already. You can just take that straight and stuff your hamburgers with that. But for today, I just wanted to show you a different way to use blue cheese and this is gonna be a blackened burger stuffed with blue cheese and the flavor is just gonna be incredible. But any other of those cheeses would work also. So we got our blue cheese crumbled up. We're gonna add one tablespoon of balsamic glaze. And again, I bought that right at our local Ingles. There's two or three different ones. This is a sweet one, goes well with our blue cheese. And then we're gonna add our chopped parsley. We'll mix all that together and then start stuffing our burgers. So 
So now that our stuffing's made, I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and stuff the burgers. What you wanna do is have them portioned out you know, about two ounces each. Take them and flatten it out with your hand. Keeping all those nice onions together. And then kind of cup the sides, making like a little small meat bowl. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a little bit of our stuffing we're going to stick it on the inside. Take our other meat, place it on top, and then seal the edges. What you want to do is you want to pinch the meat together to where you can't even tell it was two separate pieces. Flatten it out. Sprinkle a little blackened seasoning on both sides. Set it on a plate and get ready to go on the grill. You'll notice right now that stuffed hamburgers, this is a fad, it's all over the place. Uh, you'll see restaurants dedicated only to having stuffed hamburgers. One of the great things about it is you can put any flavor that you like on the inside of your burger and then top it with more things. Uh, so what happens is, is when you're putting the cheeses in here and the, and the bacon bits and all different kind of flavors, whatever you like, all the herbs, every bite you get all that flavor throughout the whole burger. And that's the beauty of it is that every bite, it just explodes in your mouth. It's nothing but flavor and it's fun. You'll notice I'll be smiling the whole time while I'm making this and it's just a fun time and you can get so creative with it. Imagine all the herbs and different cheeses that you could use. It's just a fun thing to do and involve your kids. I like involving my kids in it. They have fun. They might get crazy and want to put macaroni and cheese or whatever, but that's the beauty of it. Whatever you like, add it to your burger, cook it on the grill, have fun, and then do it again. And we'll move on and do the rest. All right, look at that. You really can't even tell there's anything special about that hamburger right now. Wait till it's finished cooking. All right, we got our burgers on the grill now. You want to have your grill on medium to medium high. You want to cook your hamburgers about eight to 10 minutes and be sure you keep turning it back and forth over side to side so that the, the cheese doesn't leak out. You don't want to leave it on one side very long. Just keep flipping it back and forth, back and forth. Uh, should take, like I said, about eight to 10 minutes and then we'll be done. Okay. All right, so all the burgers are off the grill and ready. I'm gonna go ahead and set this one up just as if I was eating it. Some lettuce and tomato, fresh greens, all from right there at your local Ingles. The bun and everything. Now I'm gonna cut this. Wait till you see all the beautiful cheese, all the spices and everything pouring out of this hamburger. Man, look at all that blue cheese dripping out of there. You got your blackening seasoning, parsley, that balsamic glaze with that fresh lettuce and tomato on there, your Harvest Farms beef. This is gonna be incredible. We're out of time now, but don't forget, this recipe, more videos, photos, all on ingles-markets.com. See you on the web.